At that same event, a young reader writer who lives in Tokyo stood at the end of the evening to speak. How wonderful it was to Kunta, the delegate from Tibet, a distinguished scholar, a translator for the Dalai Lama into Chinese, spoke to our meeting. Mr. Kunta has been coming to pen meetings for three years. We've followed this case for a long time, obviously. We, since before he was most recently imprisoned and uh, tried, uh, we asked our own government to make representations to the Chinese government. We have directly addressed the Chinese government ourselves, writing to him. We've tried to keep in touch with his, with his wife. And I thought the easiest way would be to, um, to explain why we feel that the Pan American Center so strongly about this case is to explain to you uh, why we uh, decided to join many others, including Black. First, the aspirations of a growing number of Chinese citizens. The ideas he's articulated in his supposedly subversive writings, ideas that are commonplace in free societies around the world, are shared by a significant cross section of Chinese society. Charter 08, for example, which is the thing that he said. He, he's offering his own liberty in the service of the freedom of his own people, and he finds himself, he speaks of himself as being nearer to freedom because he's crossed this threshold. So we must continue now to press for his release. Because if China can jail Liu Xiaobo without repercussions, to power, he knows that, he knows the, the danger. But I believe he is prepared to take the risk and he is prepared to take the consequences. Well, of the book I want to um, fix, and uh, this is his thoughts about all the changes in the in the past 20 years in China. His. Meguobihuidahuizang, Andoni